Hello everyone and welcome to this Selenium with Python series. In this series we are learning the Selenium from scratch and we will be building up our skills from scratch till the advanced level. And in this particular tutorial we will be learning about a very famous and very great browser extension which is known as Selectors Up. So let's begin. In our previous tutorial we learned that what are the elements and what are the locators. And we learned that in order to interact with any element we need to find those elements right. And in order to find that, Selenium has provided us with the locators. And in previous tutorial, we saw that how we can manually go and find the locator of the element, right? But sometimes it's a time consuming as sometimes you might not be able to find a unique locator. So then what is the solution? So for that, let me go to the browser here. And in browser, you need to search for selectors how selectors selectors hub and uh, this is their official website just click on this one and here you find this selectors hub xpath and selectors plugin they have already you know they have other tools like task studio test daily test uh, data right but for this particular tutorial, we will be covering this one because we are right now learning Selenium with Python and we are focusing on the locators. Okay, so click on this one and here you will find a very simple steps in order to use this plugin. Okay, right now you see that it is provided against almost all the famous browsers which we use. Right now I am in the Firefox, so just click on this one install and if it is already installed, then you will not see in this page okay because this is already shown on my browser let me remove this one okay and if i go again back here and click on install now you see this we will get the message known as add to firefox just click on this one and click on add now this will be added into our browser so that's how this is really simple in order to you know install the extensions so this is uh, the basic extensions icon and you click on this one you will see different things available here and in order to use this one again this is really simple and if, let's take an example here and let me go to the browser here let's go to the google.com and here you see that we have different things available like we have this search field we have button right and we have links as well now in order to write a script we need to locate the element in order to interact with this one simply for example i need a locator of this one and again this is really simple just right click on this one and go to the inspect okay and once you go to the inspect here so on the right side here you will see that we have a tab for the selectors hub click on this one and you see that whichever element we will highlight here you will give a locator of this one and now we know that we have a different locators available in the same like id we have class we name we have xpath we have css right so if i go here so you see that it's giving me the locator of that particular field you see that the css is available the xpath is available here and now in order to verify this selector is, is actually working and it's unique in nature so simply go in this particular area where you see the HTML and you know control plus F and here you see that search HTML and I'm just pasting this locator here okay and you see this particular field is highlighted here right and here it says that one out of one so this locator is unique and we have within you know within seconds we have a locator of this particular element now if I go to this CSS selector and again if I paste this one and press enter you will see that we have one out of one for this one and the element is uniquely identified here right and here you can also start writing and verify the things from here so you see that one element matching here and here also they have provided this locator okay and if you talk about this extension so if you want to write and you need to verify Right? It's just not about writing the the locator. Okay, it's about you know you know we need to ensure that we have the correct locator and it is uniquely identified. Right, so you can write here and in order to see that either you have 
you know the correct locator which is unique in nature just type here and press enter you will see that it says one element matching this means it is uniquely identified here and again uh, you will see that there are different options available right so if I click on this one so even uh, the beauty of uh, this extension is that it will provide a complete you know the command here so if I go to my pie chart here so we were like here we were like using the browser variable for the driver but for example if I'm using a driver here okay and let me change this to the driver here driver 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 right and if I go to the uh, browser here itself okay so, so this is a search field right and now uh, let me copy this from here and simply if I go to my pie charm here and let me go here and provide this one so I'm just good to go with this one and in order to type in this field simply I will go with dot send keys so you know this is really easy driver dot file element by the expert and this is the expert of this particular element right and in similar way if I go back the browser here so you will see that if you want don't want id it will remove the id if you don't want class it will remove that particular value right and then we have this particular option which will help to you know generate automation code for multiple sectors right so you can just go here and play around with this one and again you know this will really helpful here when you are working with this one and then if you are using the playwright right so in playwright you might need your locators containing in the double quotes okay so you need to go with this one okay so i'll go here on the top and let me uh, close uh, this one as of now and let me go here and inspect this again and go to the select yourself and if i go uh, with this double quote and single quote you see that it is automatically converting into a double quote so it's just not helping the automation engineers who are working with Selenium, but if you are working with the playwright and in playwright you have to go with the you know CSS or export selector in that particular case they are also providing this feature with the double quotes right and then you can have the settings you can customize the UI right so so this is the beauty of you know this extension you just need to go here select this one and after selecting this one you can just copy this one and even if you want so there is a strategy for access if you want to turn this off you can turn this off as well so it's giving you all the features in order to you know locate the element uniquely so you need to go and install and that's it so in our upcoming tutorials we will be using this frequently and again this is also uh, available in other browsers like chrome if i go here so if you're using chrome edge opera right so you can go and install this plugin on any of these browsers and it's free of cost. There is one pro version, but I'm sure I can show you that you can get the most out of with the free version as well. But still, there are some unique and good features which are available in the paid version, which is having a very minimum cost. So if you find that if these paid uh, options are good to you, so you can go and purchase that one. So, so. From now onwards, in our all the tutorials, I will be choosing, and you will be seeing that how quickly we will be, you know, creating our test scripts for the application. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. If you like our content, then do like, comment, share, and subscribe our channel. Once again, thank you so much, and see you in the next tutorial.